Hello and welcome to Fully Charged Plus. I'm joined today by Lee Sutton from My Energy. Now, we have featured My Energy, uh, the products they make uh, many times on Fully Charged. I'm basically in love with my Zappi charger. But Lee, tell us about the other products you're doing, because we're talking specifically today about the Eddy. Yes, yeah. And the Eddy is, you know, the, the Zappi, you kind of see it and it does, yeah. you plug something into it and you plug your car in it and it's clever. The Eddy is sort of more discreet. It's going to it be is, hidden yeah. away in a cupboard. <laughs> what does, tell me what the Eddy does. I, say, I mean, I think we're really well known for uh, the Zappi product, like you say, and, um, but if you think about the name My Energy, it's about energy management in the home. And that's where um, all, all the products come in, like the Eddy. Yeah. So basically, the Eddy uses surplus solar to heat water. Right. It can also do space heating as well, but it's using your um, your immersion heater in your hot water cylinder, and it's like a battery. So it's it's storing the energy thermally rather than as electricity. Right. And so, so what it does. So if you have an Eddy and a Zappi and solar panel, because basically you're, this, this is specifically designed for houses with solar panels, but, is that? Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah. Or, or even a wind turbine. Or a wind turbine, but, yeah. Yes, yes, but yeah. I mean, so it, with that then, if you've got a car and the Zappi's charging the car from the solar, is yeah. that then also heating the water? Or does it, I mean, are they communicating? Does the Zappi yes. talk to the Eddy? Yes, <laughs> the, the, they do communicate with right. each other. So you can choose the priority um, you might want all of the solar to go to the car charging uh, when the car's charged to then heat the water or vice versa or even sort of split it between them right so and that's all so you can manage that on the screen of the eddy can you you can yeah you can do that directly on the uh, eddy or zappy screen or even via the app on your mobile phone the app, yes. which is good i like that the, <laughs> yes the my energy app is good because it's nice simple pictures that i can is, understand yeah. do, do you look at it often i do no yeah, it's yeah. something i do check regularly yeah yeah, yeah. so then so in in those terms then uh, are people able to i mean it's obviously going to save some money but can you demonstrate us to us how that works then because that's always the hard thing to it is, yeah. see when you're in a situation like this. That's it, yeah, we're in a studio now, aren't we? And so it's not quite the same as having a house with solar panels. Yeah. So what we try to do is rig something up where we've got, we can control generation, if you like, or what the Eddie perceives to be generation. Right. And the house load, and then um, we've got the, the heater here simulating the, um, the immersion heater in, right. the, in the hot water. Oh, so the heaters are the, are the load in the house, is that yeah, what Yeah, so one of them, showing? we've got three heaters. One of them we're gonna put current in to simulate the generation. And right. I'm gonna use this uh, Variac to adjust the voltage on that and that will adjust right. the power. <laughs> <That's quite exciting. laughs> to get a bit it's, it's a proper <laughs> science experiment, <laughs> yeah, I love it. It is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, we've got a small one here demonstrating the, uh, the, the base load in the house. Right. Yeah. And um, the heater here is the immersion heater, if you like, in the right. That's so the that's your hot water cylinder. tank. Yeah. There. And that's that's what uh, is connected to the eddy. So typically, right. this will be near that. It would usually right. be in the airing cupboard or, or or in the garage or wherever right. your tank is, and it would um, wire into the immersion heater. And um, we have some clip-on current transformers that clip around the meter tails, yeah. so um, where your electricity meter is, and that. Uh, measures the eddy measures the power going out of the house so the surplus solar right and then it diverts that same amount of power to heat the water right so. right <laughs> so so what whereas if you didn't have this you'd be just putting energy into the grid during the day when you're not there or something like that's that. right yeah yeah so typically you know you have your solar panel panels installed but you're wasting most of the energy yeah um when you go out to work most of it is exported um it's, it's typically uh about 70 80 percent that right. people waste but um well it's I mean, not wasted it just doesn't help you yeah it's going okay, out yeah, into yeah, the yeah, grid yeah. so someone else yes, is using it that's it for free uh, although sometimes fair. it is wasted because um often if it's like particularly if it's windy and sunny at the same time it's too much power right. for the grid and that's when you see the prices go negative with some yeah. of these flexible tariffs that you see so um right. so it's not always wanted to go onto the grid so the the, the, the best thing to do is to consume it yourself in yes. the house and that's what the eddy will do right right so it's so. It, it sounds like it is definitely worth but if you've got solar already it's very much worth having it installed I mean, it is yeah I mean, it's uh it's 
why wouldn't why wouldn't you really yeah. it's uh, if you've already got the the tank and the immersion heater which usually you have and it's usually not used then it's a very simple install and yeah. it would save you money from the moment it's installed so if you've got like gas water heating but you've got an immersion heater which is actually it sounds crazy but that's quite a common it is yeah. way of, yeah. uh, of organizing things then you basically your gas bill is going to pretty much disappear i mean you're going to be using yeah the, the, the power it's, you generate for nothing effectively <laughs> to heat your water which is yeah it will it will save quite quite a lot from your gas bill um because it'll do uh, the majority of the water heating and especially in in the the, the summer months from yeah um from spring to to autumn usually i don't have my boiler switched on at all right and right. it does all of the water heating right because that is certainly uh you know from just talking to friends and neighbors who've seen the, the my zappy everybody gets that it's a really simple thing to explain you know what, what happens well when you've got more solar than you need it goes into the car you know that's and go, yes oh, oh that's good that's exactly so it, which yeah. is exactly yeah. that's exactly what this does only it does it to to, yes. to water yeah yeah, yeah. we I actually mean, launched this before the zappy this was this was our that our was your product. original product yeah. Yeah. right Right. Yeah, and it's very. It still sells very well, but it doesn't get much uh, attention you it know? It, it's because it's same. just a fit and forget yeah. sort of thing. You don't interact with, with it all the time. Like you but then, if exactly. you have got batteries in your house, does that can it does it, it, it can it control the what goes in or out of the battery as well? Yeah. So if you've got a, a battery like the power wall or something, yeah, you can use a, an extra clip-on CT to monitor what the battery's doing, and then you, you can choose to take priority over the battery or not so you might be that you want the battery to charge first and then heat the water or you want the water heating before the battery takes the surplus right. so you've got the choice yeah i suppose the really critical thing is that you know at the moment a lot of this a lot of this equipment in a similar way to electric cars is used by people who are sort of energy nerds who are really interested in it but mm. in in the longer term if you just you're not interested at all, but you live in a house with this equipment built into it. Yeah. How complicated is it to use then? I mean, it, it's well, ordinarily you don't even need to interact with it at all. It can just sit there, mopping up all the surplus solar and putting it into into heat your water. The only sort of conscious thing you would need to make is like you might not want the gas boiler to be constantly heating the tank because you need you need to give chance for the eddy to to um, to, to charge if you like the. The, the, uh, the, the tank so so Lee, what is the other box that's there it's got wires in it that's right next to you there's, there's a few but you mean this one yeah yes <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, this is the Harvey product right. um, so I mentioned that it needs these little clip on uh, current transformers that go at the meter tails yeah uh, if you can imagine sometimes that might be quite a long way from your own cupboard or might even be in a detached garage or something right. yeah so it can be quite disruptive to run the cable from from the eddy to the uh, to the to the source of the, the grid, so the yeah. the, uh, the meter tail. And just to explain what a meter tail is, that's the that's the wire that goes into your meter from the grid. It's, exactly, it's that yes. wire. Isn't yes, it? yeah. that's yeah. it. So that's the point we need to monitor, right. because that's where where the surplus power is going out. So if we can measure that, then we know what how much energy we need to divert to to the water. Right, and, that, and was it just, I'm just thinking, because people might worry, because oh, have you got to saw, cut the wire, and they know it clips <laughs> around the wire, doesn't it? It's just yeah, a, yeah, yeah, it just a, clips around it, yeah. simple as that, yeah, yeah. And this, this little product, you can wire the CT, the, the, the current transformer, yeah. straight to there. So it just, it just, a couple of wires straight in there, right. and clips around the meter tail. And then this will start transmitting the, the power, whether it's import or export power, to the eddy, and the right. eddy will know how much uh, energy your how much surplus energy you have right um, it doesn't require any um, batteries or any uh, electrical power source it powers itself directly from from the uh, current transformer right wow so once it's in there you can just it's just there it. yeah that's it